We are Team IMCA. Today we'll be delivering our IMC strategy to our client, Laura the Celebrant. Recent reports from the Australian Bureau of Statistics indicate a positive outlook for Australia's marriage celebrant industry. These statistics signify that the overall number of marriages and demand for civil celebrants has grown significantly over the last decade, with over 70% of couples choosing celebrants to officiate their ceremony as opposed to ministers of religion. However, due to low barriers of entry, the industry has become highly saturated and therefore businesses must look for new and unique ways to differentiate themselves in a highly competitive market. Primary research has highlighted the homogeneous nature of the marriage celebrants in the Brisbane region, offering conventional and traditional wedding ceremonies. A large number of online wedding directories have known the large movement in the market towards more unconventional wedding ceremonies, indicating a large opportunity for potential business. In order to distinguish herself and gain a competitive position within the marketplace, Laura should target a niche market that favours questioning the rules of a conventional wedding ceremony. Furthermore, primary research has uncovered that a large proportion of the celebrant industry focuses their marketing communication strategy on the customer as opposed to the celebrant herself. Amplifying Laura's unique personality and experiences as a teacher, a student and a police ambassador will allow her to develop a brand image and positioning strategy. Our target audience are couples between 25 and 40 years old, ready to get married or commit to each other. After the initial phase, we will start to target types of people rather than specific groups. We are targeting the striving psychographic, people who are trendy and fun-loving, motivated by achievement and favour stylish products. These are also the type of people who want a sense of belonging and stability in their lives. We've identified that a lot of focus in the celebrant business in Australia is placed on the customer and not enough on the celebrant. Our insight finds that customers would be receptive to a celebrant with a larger-than-life personality through learning who Laura is, her quirks and her inspirations. Through this, deeper customer relationships could be forged. Based on our insight and Laura's brief, we've developed a four-foot solution based on the Siva framework. Our first strategy and big idea seeks to amplify her personality and communicate her inspirations and interests to her customers. By positioning her as a celebrity celebrant, we trust that the customers would form positive attitudes with a personal brand based on the narrative. Secondly, we would employ multiple digital mediums to execute the above mentioned strategy. These mediums would also serve as customer initiated touch points through interactive social media on Facebook pages and Twitter. Subsequently, we want to build content on the website to continually and directly market to our subscribers. Finally, we endeavour to build the engagement with customers who have preferences for the unconventional, including same-sex unions. In the long run, this allows Laura's personal brand to evolve while targeting a niche market of couples seeking atypical weddings. For the initial budget, a multitude of different strategies have been identified. This consisting of Facebook-sponsored advertising, posters advertising Laura's business, and SEO optimization packages. Through a SEO package, Laura's site will have a higher search engine ranking, resulting in increased traffic, visitor to lead conversion rate, and brand awareness. The best part about Facebook advertising is that you can limit the demographics of individuals who are seeing the post to those who might be predisposed towards getting married or having a ceremony. Through this, an expected amount of 225 people will visit Lauren's site and 100 people will like Lauren's page. To further aid in this, self-created posters will be placed in same-sex nightclubs to reach those interested in commitment ceremonies. For the later phases of the budget, paying to be added to a wedding online directory would be suggested. They allow for improved search and engine rankings and credibility to the brand and lead to further exposure. We've come up with an integrated digital package recommendation for Laura. Firstly, the website is designed to work across all modern devices. The modern design, along with the vibrant colours and quirky marketing copy, makes it obvious that this is not your typical boring wedding celebrant. All of the information on the website revolves around Laura and her personal life, from her major achievements in life down to smaller novel details. The design is intuitive, with all the crucial information found on a one-page parallax design. Fixed navigation at the top of the screen makes for easy, instant contact at all times. For our marketing objectives, we aim to have 30 inquiries in the first three months from potential clients with 10 follow-up bookings. With the website brochures, business cards and company's name in the celebrant directory being promoted, there should be at least 225 unique visitors to the website in the first three months. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram accounts must be created to reach the target audience with 100 likes or followers over the three accounts. Finally, all events which occur in the first three months must have a testimonial written to be published on the website. 